And time check is exactly five minutes past 7 p.m. Hello, 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 one and all. And good evening to you wherever you're tuned in from. You're tuned in to your number one girl talk show on radio. Strong and sassy live on Joy 99.7 FM. My name is Na Ashoko. And of course, I'm your host with the most. <laughs> Bringing you one hour of fun, engaging, exciting, informative and educative talk. On Strong and Sassy on this show every week. We talk about all the things that matter to us women. From work to school to the men to the kids to our clothes. Shall you name it? We've got it. And we do this with you every Wednesday night. Of course, the number to uh, reach us on if you want to be a part of our conversation all show long is 0244340437. That's our WhatsApp number 0244340437. Hello and welcome. I've got my ladies in the studio. Uh, for, for the second time, uh, one of my favorite public health administrators, Oforiwa. Oforiwa. Yes. Hello, darling. Hello, Nan. You're welcome to the show. Looking so pretty. Thank you. I like your rosy cheeks. I'm learning from you. I don't have rosy <laughs> cheeks. <laughs> I should be learning from you. How's your week been? It's been good. I lost my voice today. Oh, who did you lose it to? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but we can hear you. That's all that matters. Good. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming in. I think they told you it was a TV show. And they were looking fly, Charlie. Anyway, because we're live on Facebook... I think I should bring my, I should bring my uh, rosy cheeks next time. So so you can you can catch the show live on Facebook on uh, Joy 997 FM. We're streaming live. Also, if you're not going to be in your car the full time or you're going to step out of uh, the room where the radio is, remember that you can listen to the show live on the My Joy Online app. Just download the app and listen. It's available on iOS, on Android, everything. So you can listen to us wherever you are, anytime, all around the world. Okay, also on the show for the very first time, for the very first time, my big sister, mentor, super mom, super businesswoman, super show host, extraordinaire, fantastic wife, advice giver. Hey! <laughs> Charlie, she is, on a, on a more serious note, she is all beautiful things, all things inspirational all things motivational rolled in one person. Stacy I'm watching from the days of Sound Splash at TV Africa. Ooh. Where she used to <laughs> you know, she used to come and uh, I don't know what you used to come and do, you know, at TV Africa after music music. She used to come to TV Africa Mostly and then I'll come um, get coffee, then we go have Because dinner. she used to finish first. Yeah, we used to finish uh -huh. first. That's yeah. how come you were there. Uh -huh. yeah. And then I'll be there looking at her, you know, that's the lady of music, music is big with Bolare. And I'll be looking at her and then, you know, my husband used to come pick me up those days uh, in the corner. She'd say, I hope you will marry him. You let this young man come and sit here and wait for you. Yes, <laughs> and you did. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes, yes, and I did. Stacy. No. I'm so glad you're here. I'm happy to be here. And, you know, when we picked today's topic, I I, I said to uh, my producers, let's get Stacey. She, she, she's the one we need to talk to on this topic <laughs> because, Charlie, I remember, I remember, I remember uh, so many years ago, you know, combining work, late nights, the babies, and somehow you've been able to do it so beautifully. Yeah, little by little. Yeah. We got so, there. That brings us to our topic for discussion today. Today we're going to be discussing balancing uh, motherhood and your career as a woman. This is a topic that I don't think can ever be exhausted. As women with big aspirations and dreams and visions about where we want to go to with our careers or what we want to get to with our careers, many a times it seems as if motherhood can disrupt the process it seems to save if you have big dreams and you want to climb the corporate ladder and shatter the glass ceiling and all of that motherhood can be a distraction or can be um, some kind of um, can delay the process for you and that if you're single or okay not single but if you don't have kids and you know you have more time for work the probability that you're going to be more successful 
with your, your career is higher than when you have kids or kids come along the way. I want to ask you today, is this true? Is this really the case? Some people have said that, look, there's nothing you cannot do once you put your mind to it. We're women, we're strong, we're superpowers, we can multitask, we can do it. As women who have gone ahead of us have done it. We don't have an excuse. Nowadays, we're probably just being lazy. Look, if you want to do it, you can do it. Is this true? Let's talk about the balance. Is it possible to achieve a balance at all? Have you been able to do it? If you have, how have you been able to do it? Have you hired a Hanani to take care of the children while you work? Or have you had challenges in your home or in your marriage or in your relationship because you're, quote, working too much and relegating your mommy duties to the background? Being a full-time uh, a mom is a full-time job to start with. Even when you have help, it's, it doesn't make it any less challenging. And you, even when you take your child to school, I mean, you're sitting at work and you're thinking constantly, oh, are they feeding him well? You come in, he has a cold, you have trips to the hospital, today weighing, tomorrow pediatrician appointment, and all of that, and it can affect the work. And seriously, an employer would probably, you know, think twice about, about giving you more opportunities at the, at the workplace. I want us to discuss this today. Tell me how you've been able to achieve a balance if you have been able to. If you haven't been able to, share some of your challenges with us so that other mothers listening know that they're not alone in this. Are there ways we can go around this and make sure that we get a good balance, be a good mom, and be successful at your job? Indeed, some people have said that, look, if you want to be able to take care of your kids, the moment you have kids, leave your day job and start your own business because that's the only way you can have your own time and, and, and you know, be there for, for the kids. Let's talk about it today. Now, for a while, you have a nine to five. Mm -hmm. uh, Stacy, you're an entrepreneur and you do your own thing. So I think we have a good balance here. Uh, we're going to be joined shortly by Mabna of Fitvolution. She's a fitness coach and she's, she's also going to join us and, and share her thoughts. Now, if you are a stay at home mom, more than anything, I want to hear from you. Tell me how you came to make this decision to you know, let go of everything and stay at home and take care of the kids. Are you happy you did? Is it affecting you in any way? Do you have any regrets? Do share with us. 0244-340-437 is a number to reach us on. Ofoa, yes, may I start with you? Yeah. First of all, do you think it's been possible to achieve a work life and balance as a career woman? It's possible, but it's difficult. Mm. It's very difficult. You need to balance. You need to be orderly. You need to plan. You need to be very time conscious. Can I take you back one step? Yeah. All right. Tell me what a typical day in your life is like. Hmm. Okay. So I wake up at 4. 4 a.m. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I go and prepare my son's bottles, prepare him for school, and then I'm out of home by 6.30. How old is your son? He's 18 months. 18 months. Okay. Yeah. And then I have to prepare his breakfast. So he eats with his grandpa and then he goes to school from his grandpa. Okay. So then I leave him with his grandpa to take him to school. Okay. And then I go to it. So you have help with family? Yes, I do. All right. That's what's helping me. Okay. Yeah. Have you always had this help? Yes. I mean, it's always been grandparents from my mother-in-law mm -hmm. to my father-in-law, then my parents. So there's always been help from my family. All right. And then you go to work and then what time do you get home? And then I get home like 7 most of the time I get home, he's about to go to bed or he just is feeling really tired. So I give him a shower, then I put him to bed. Then I go and take care of his clothes, his bottles, and prepare him for the next day. Okay. During the day, do you find that you're having to call to check up on him? Or do you get a lot of calls from home saying he's not eating or he's not sleeping or he hasn't pooped all day? Or, you know, things like that. Sometimes. It depends. Initially... Because I started with my mother-in-law, it was easier for me to let him, let him be. Because I didn't want mm -hmm. to keep calling her, making her look like she didn't know what she was doing. Because she knew exactly what she was doing. She raised five kids. So that helped me. I was really comfortable. Calling a lot, no, I don't do that. Okay. But I let them know, if he's not eating, you need to let me know. If he's not pooping or he's pooping funny, you need to let me know. Like basic things that show that he shows that he has like one health condition or the other. Mm -hmm. But apart from that, I don't <coughs> I don't disturb them with calls. Okay. So you have help and that's great. Yes. Okay. Stacy, tell me a typical day in your life. <laughs> like what does it look like? From from what time you get up? What time do you get up in the morning? Ah uh, 
it depends. It depends on the mood and how <laughs> and how late I sleep. Because sometimes I'm up till two. How many kids do you have? Three. How old are they? Um, I have twelve who will be thirteen in few weeks. Oh, I have nine. We have teenagers have now. Yeah, <laughs> and, and she's sounding it's like I'm going to be a teenager soon. Okay. Yeah, so we are getting ready for that teen age. And the last is six years six old. Six years. All right, tell me about a typical day in your life. <sighs> okay, so what I do is I start preparing for the next day, the night before. Okay. Getting their school stuff in place and all that, and because they are quite grown it's mm -hmm. so easy to work around them so when they wake up they are able to take care of their shower get ready dress up till they have to eat then you go through that routine so basically okay. sometimes i'm up 5 30 sometimes 6 if they're on vacation i'm up at 10 i'm not gonna lie because okay. i really do get tired okay so i tell them we're on vacation so okay. but when school is in session later 6 30 i have to be up okay. so my alarm starts from 5 then you know that thing, you, you just snooze it. Yeah. Five <laughs> it rings again, you snooze it. By the third, you know, you have to get you have up. to get up. <laughs> so you get and you freshen up, you join them. And I, we've made it a habit, not just me, but even my husband, to always have the morning ride with them to school. Okay. Because mostly we get home late when school is in session. They don't get to see us before they sleep. So we try to have that morning ride. So we hear all the stories from the school, who did this, who didn't do that, who hit the remote and all of that. Oh. And we laugh about it. So when, once you drop them, then it's like the real business begins. You have meetings, you have clients, you have to satisfy. Between my husband and I, we're running about four different companies. So you have to be like on top of everything, making sure that our lifestyle company, which is the beauty line our hair brand our clothing brand everything is going on well we have m clan which is the multimedia production mm -hmm. ongoing we have restoration which is our tv content program session ongoing you have our marketing and advertising company wow. which so is platinum network so it's super crazy when you get to work sometimes even to eat is a problem because it's like back to back you have to keep working and what keeps you going is at least you know when they're in school, they're safe, nothing. And you don't normally get the call from the teacher. Because mostly when you see the teacher's call, you panic, like, what's going on? But you normally do not get that. So it keeps you calm. But right after four, you know the calls are going to start coming because it means they're home. And they're going to ask, Mommy, when are you coming? Are you on your way? Mommy, we want pizza. Mommy, we want this. Mommy, we want KFC. Mommy, we want this. It's, it's been super crazy. And mostly when you get home, you have to make sure they've done their homework in their school. They'll ask parents to sign. Mm -hmm. So you have to go through, even if they're sleeping, you have to go through all the homework. Places you think they've gotten the answers wrong, you have to wait so that in the morning you wake them up early to go through that side with them so they don't get it wrong. Because if any of them should get anything wrong and you signed, they'll say, but mommy, you saw it and you didn't say it. Uh -huh. So you don't want It's that. mommy's fault. <laughs> Let me share this funny incident with you. There was a time both Kofi and I were very busy. So Jojo brought his homework. And we said, let the nanny help you because we, we're going to come home very late. Mm -hmm. And you have to be up very early. So just let the nanny help you. said, okay. So the nanny helped him. And he got two wrong. Okay. <laughs> and you, you, you signed it? So the nanny signed. Okay. So he came back. He was so upset. You see, mommy, when I told you I wanted to wait for you and daddy, you said we should let auntie do it. You see, I got two wrong. I got oh. two wrong. <laughs> and from that time, the nanny cannot get close to his homework. <laughs> so you wake up in the morning, uh, get them ready for school. You go to work. You come back, do homework. And then you go to bed. And we read as well. Okay. We, we, what we do is we try to instill that reading habit mm. into them. So sometimes, so I always try to get home earlier. So if I'm able to get home by 7, 7, 15, 7, 30, we take 30 minutes. We call it the reader's club. So I read, the older sister will read, the second would read, then he would be the last to read. So Sometimes we pick a book and we take about a week to finish the book. Mm. And after the book, we set questions. We ask each other questions. Oh, my God. That sounds so perfect. It's not perfect. <laughs> it sounds so, so perfect. There are times you want to read and he's like, Mommy, I'm sleepy. <laughs> the second say, Mommy, I have a headache. It's. I mean, I'll, I'll think that after such a long day, when you come home, Charlie, you just want to put everyone to sleep. No, the, but the let's, only let's, time your head is on your pillow is at one. 
Wow. 1 a.m., sometimes 1.30. So some people see you online on WhatsApp, and they're like, won't you sleep? And I will tell them, I just finished work. Wow. Because that is work. <laughs> ha! Now, we've just been joined by um, superstar entrepreneur, fitness coach, <laughs> Food Volution by Mavna. You need her. <laughs> I need to be <laughs> Mavna. Hi. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Thank so you. glad you're here. I'm glad I came. Thank you. <laughs> so, so Mabna, tell us uh, uh, about Tokyo. Okay, so, uh, Oforewa and Stacy have shared what their typical day is like. How's your typical day with with baby and work? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's a bit crazy. <laughs> I hope I don't get judged. <laughs> <laughs> no, you won't get judged. Um, <clears throat> our typical day will probably start at 3 a.m. Because my son, he's almost two. He will wake up before the cock crows. And <laughs> at that time, he either wants to play or he wants to eat. So if he wants to eat... Praise God, because when he eats, he, he'll, he'll, sleep. You know, he'll sleep go again. back to sleep. At least I'll give myself an hour and a half. He'll go back to sleep. But if he wants to play, then that's the end of the night for me. Or whatever it was left of the night for me. Meanwhile, I'm supposed to start my day probably taking orders. Of course, I make juice. Probably taking orders, responding to... Um, I run online classes, so I have to respond to every person that I'm running classes for. I have to respond to my fiscal class people. I have to daily business. So if my day starts at 3 a.m., by 7, 8, I'm already worn out because I probably had to play with him through no fault of mine. <laughs> 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 and then um, during the day, I'm so busy, I'm, I have to check my phone, I have to you know, check on juice production, I have to check on clients, I have to put on ad, I have to do this and do that. And um, unfortunately, um, we don't have a village in the urban um, society, so I don't have a village to help me raise my son, so it's just me and his dad. And so <clears throat> my parents are far away, they're in the village, so <laughs> we're villages. So um, I know sometimes that I'm supposed to probably be outside playing with him with mm -hmm. the football or just taking a walk, but I'll be sitting with my phone in my face and he'll be sitting by me. And they say that it's what you do that they do, not mm -hmm. what you tell them to do. Yeah. So then when my phone is in my hand and I push a book into his hand, there's no way he's going to mm -hmm. read. Mm -hmm. he's, want, he's going to want to look or take my phone from me and play with the phone. Yeah. Which most of the time makes me feel very guilty, but I have to do work. Wow. Because, uh, for instance, yesterday, I was so, had a huge juice order, and we were so busy. And so I had to, because I didn't want him to disturb me, I had to pass the phone to him. And for like two hours, this boy was on the phone. And every time I turn, I'm like, oh, Lord, I need to take this phone. It's enough. It's enough. <laughs> but I need also to work. I need to work. I need to work. What am I going to do? <sighs> and then from there, I have to rush to boot camp to do my evening class, and he has to tag along with me. Yeah. And then he has to play. So right now he's he's a he's a baby for everybody at boot camp because he has he runs around, he's picking dumbbells, he's doing everything. Oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> and we started this when he was probably like eight weeks old. Wow. Yeah. And at that time there was so much guilt in me. Oh Lord. Like, why am I here with an eight weeks old baby? Why wouldn't I be in bed, you know, singing lullabies to him and cuddling him? And but I have to work I'm with mosquitoes and all that. I'm telling you, I have to work, and so it's it's not an easy one. But some days too, it's you know I. Did, did you did you get judged by people? Do people say, oh, "Why are you out with your eight week old baby at this time over here? Uh, isn't your husband taking care of you and things like that?" I I I. I'm not one person that listens to what people... If you're going to pay my bills, yes, I will, I will gladly <laughs> listen to you. I oh mean, I will sit down and I will listen to you. But if you're not... Go at the end of whatever jibi jabba you're going to say, you're not going to push some fat CDs or dollars in my hands. Please keep your opinions to yourself. Let me just do life the way I can mm. right now. Yes. Do you think it is possible now, ladies, to, 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 to the real subject? Do you think it's possible to succeed... At both your your chosen career, be one entrepreneur or in the corporate world, succeed like succeed. 
and still be able to be there and be a good mom to your kids. <laughs> May I start with you for a while? Stacy is doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Stacy, <too. laughs> Stacy is laughing. <laughs> After seven and all, yeah, I'm laughing in Spanish. Now everything is possible. You, you see, I always tell people that women are built in a unique way, and I learned that from Mrs. Rollins. Uh, mostly when we meet, I'll say, "Oh, mommy, so how did you do it? Were you never tired because you're always on the road with all these kids and your kids are so well brought up? And she said, you know what? That is the power of a woman. Once you put your mind to it, you mm -hmm. can do it. So there is nothing you cannot do. You wanted to get good grades in school, you work towards it. You want your home to be perfect, you work towards it. So I learned from her that you have to live your life with your kids as a project. So yes, this is a project I'm doing i have to make an a I, I need a first class with this project so i have to try in my very best it's not easy now we shouldn't flatter ourselves for me through pregnancy for what i do with my first second and even third i was always on tv with my pregnancy when i had my first born at about two not even two months after four weeks tv3 was calling me back to come on music music so I would always go with my daughter in my car seat backstage. When I'm on stage, Bola is taking care of my daughter. Then we swap that way. When we both have to go, we have to get one of the floor managers to stay with the baby. And people just see the beauty of it. They don't see what you go through mm -hmm. to make it work. Mm -hmm. And as they've grown, I've tried before they didn't understand. They'll say, Mommy, you're never around. Mommy, you're always gone. Mommy, you're always this. So I decided to let them understand what I do. So when I'm going to record, I go with them. Mm -hmm. We all leave home at 6. We come back home at 11. Wow. There are times they go like, Mommy, we're not going. <laughs> I'm like, no, we have to go. We have to work. This is what brings money. You want to travel? You want to go here? We have to go work. Mm -hmm. So when we go to the studio, when the recording sessions are going on, they just go to their daddy. Daddy, can we get the room key? Because <laughs> mostly we record at La Palma and I always have a room. They'll just go and stay in the room and sleep till we're done. Okay. So it's not na, that na, easy. Na. But then, now uh, let me land. Okay. But as you know, it's a project. It's just like trying to be a president. Mm -hmm. You know you have a position. You need to work hard. You need to get your grind on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So no matter what, you should make sure that your achievement as a professional woman you meet the target. Your achievement as a mother or even a wife, you also have to meet that target. So you can, it's a, it's a scale. It has to be balanced. You cannot leave one up and one down. Is it, okay, so you're an entrepreneur. That's great. So you can take your kids to work. Fantastic. Let me come to you, Ofoyua. You have a nine to five. Mm -hmm. You know, you are a public health administrator. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you even have to go away. You know, yeah. you have to travel and stuff. Yeah. You can't bring your, your baby to work. Mm -hmm. How do you do it? And do you think it's possible to achieve or attain a good balance? It's, it's difficult, but it's possible. How? It's very difficult. I like that. Answer. Because I think the best way is time management. A lot of discipline. And people you can trust. Because mm. if you don't have people you can trust, none of it is possible. Mm. I'm lucky to have my parents alive, my husband's parents alive. So then I have a lot of help. Okay. But if I didn't have anybody and it was just me and my husband or just me, then it would be really difficult. Really, really Do difficult. Do you think if you didn't have anyone, you'd probably give up your job, take care of your baby? I will probably leave the 8 to 5 and then do something on my own. Mm -hmm. I probably will have to. Because with my job, I have to travel for three weeks. Mm. Wow. Yeah. And then come back. So before you go, you have to cook for the three weeks. You need to. It's, it's a lot of work. You need to leave your home, like, ready. In order. In order. Mm. <laughs> before you leave. And you need to know that. He's in safe hands mm. while well, you are gone. So you need people you can trust. Yeah. Mabla. <laughs> See, and, and in all this, it's, I just want to touch on how it affects you, the person, mm -hmm. the mother. See, um, even as an entrepreneur who can take your kids along to work, it's, drain, it's so draining 
it's it's so draining that you 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 have to at, you know at some point i i just You're sat down exhausted. and i was like i don't know me this me i don't know i don't know her cuz i don't i don't me i go out i go to eat at restaurants alone i'll go to the movies if i want to <laughs> so i am a happy child but now I don't. I don't remember the last time I was at the movies. Bye bye, happy child <laughs> days. I don't go out. <laughs> Even if I go to shop, I went to buy a shoe for myself. I end up buying baby stuff. Yeah. Mm. Then I ask myself, who is this person? I don't know her. I want me back. I want you know. No, what I'm saying? sorry. The yeah. child. Yeah. The year is gone. <laughs> so so you feel that you're probably giving up all of yourself yes. for work and and then for the yes. kid. Yes. In the end, I feel I'm like sorry. um, it, it's possible, but something's got to give and. That something is is a priceless bit of you that mm-hmm. that has to you have to let it go. Hmm. Some, yeah, some some part of you has to go. It goes away, and so it's it, there, there's so many sacrifices to go with this um, thing that we are doing. This wow. mothering thing that we are doing. But is it healthy? Is it a healthy way to go? I mean, you know, you love your kid, you love your, you have to provide for them and all of that, but must you lose yourself in trying to be the great mom? I, I... Isn't that see, too much of a sacrifice it's, to give? It's, it's a lot, it's a lot of sacrifice, but there's so much joy also. But the thing That's is, every that mother mostly you don't even see it coming. Yep. But your baby has to grow up to know the best of you. Mm-hmm. I mean, your baby has to grow up to know that mom loves herself. And in spite of everything, mom still takes good care of herself. I oh, mean, yeah. you, you, your baby has to grow to know that person. Oh, yeah. And and not, mommy's always working. Mommy's always, you know, she's always carrying tired. me. And she's always tired. She's always cooking, cleaning, working, cooking, cleaning, working, carrying me, baby. <laughs> I mean... It, it's it's difficult. Shouldn't there be more to life than is, that routine? Yes, there should be. But you 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 pick up yourself again after a while. You know, mm. there's a period where yourself will just go. You, you can't do anything about it. Yourself will go, especially the early early months to till mm-hmm. when they, they they can be a little independent. Mm-hmm. Yourself will go. Yeah. But because now there's a, a person to, depending totally on you. Mm-hmm. There's um. If you're married, there's there's a husband, there's a home. Now there's business, so you have to put make sure all these things are working. Like and like and like um, uh, Stacy said, you can it has to sort of balance. It, it's always struggling to balance. And you you're in the middle. You're trying to make a balance, but at, at a point you you start finding yourself again, and that's where if you're not able to, you don't have a support system that will lift you, help lift you up, then sometimes depression sets in because then you lose yourself trying to be something for everybody then you will lose yourself yeah. so and I think this is something we probably should discuss another day postpartum depression and yeah, all that comes with boy. it it's probably something we haven't spoken about enough anyway I want to hear from you now call me on zero three zero two two one six five four one zero three zero two two one six five four one Call me, especially if you're a stay-at-home mom. I want to hear from you. Um, do you feel that you have sacrificed too much? Are you happy with the decision you made to stay at home and take care of baby? Do you miss work? Do you want to go back? Or what do you think about when you see your friends, you know, at work, living the life that you envisioned and all of that? Call me, 0302216541. Now, ladies, I want to find out this um, honestly, sincerely. Do you think that perhaps if you did not have kids, you would have been more successful in your business and you would have been in a better place in your life, generally? Before you are. I think, nah, I think that they are a part of you. Mm. And for me, he actually makes me a better person. Okay. No, I mean, everything that people call stress when it comes to raising a child, for me, it has built me up to be much better than who I used to be. Mm. It's made me stronger. It's made me more orderly, time conscious. I mean, things that I never used to be. Now, I'm like always, I, I don't have free time. And when I do have free time, I need to use it well. So for me, I think it's, it's all added up to who I am now, which is actually making me a better person all right. to be better in my career. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you're generally a better person and that's making you better at work. Yeah. I see. Stacy, if you did not have the kids, would you I mean would restoration would have been probably on uh 
<laughs> what are the international networks yeah. nowadays? <laughs> you know, yeah. on ABN yeah. and London, yeah. you know, <laughs> your restoration would have been shown at Times Square. Yeah. <laughs> Do you feel that your business would have been in a better place no, I, now? I, 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 would, I wouldn't give them... Sorry, I, Stacey, not, not to catch you. Let's, let's pick this call and then we'll come back to you. Hello. Hello. Hi, thank you for calling. Thank you very much. Ma'am. What is your name? I'm Abna. I'm calling from Accra. All right, Abna, share with us. Yes, I think this is a very good topic that you are discussing. We really need it as mothers and career women. Now, I the, the last time I went to the mall, I was surprised about the new things that have come to the mall. I was a person that me and my husband will go to the movies in the night, go to the mall, just to walk about and the rest. And when the baby came, I don't remember the last time I set my foot to the mall. It's tiring. But as the ladies are saying, it's worth it. And you need to put in a lot, a lot of work, especially when you are working. And if you don't have employers who will understand you, it becomes frustrating. But because God is on our side, and as we have been created and built for this work, I think that when we support each other, we will feel through and we will come out as better women. Amen. Thank you so much for the call. And uh, uh, back to you, for you. We should probably look at the flip side. Do you think that perhaps if you weren't working, you would have been a better mother for your kids? All right, I have another call on the line. Hello. Hello. Hi. Uh, good evening. Hi, what's your name? <laughs> I think today you are discussing me. I'm discussing I'm you. Man, but I think you are discussing me. Tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> God bless our mothers, God bless women, God bless ladies that we have who amen, really amen, understand amen. what is called life and who really make us who we are today as men. God really bless you. Amen. My simple advice to men is that taking care of a baby is not a sole responsibility of a woman. It's a, it's a shared responsibility. That is why the Bible says that the woman will leave her house. Sleep with a man, you become one person. So I would advise my colleague Ben that please, in the name of God, as soon as you share that thing together and the baby comes, let's support <laughs> our ladies. Push them to the very top because our ladies are capable of running every single business that a man you can think of. Enjoy your program. Bye bye. Thank you so much, sir, for the call. Bless your heart. Zero three zero two two one six. I beg your pardon. Zero three zero two two one six five four one is the number to reach us on. Hello. Yeah. Good evening, madam. Hi. Good evening, sir. Thank you so much for calling. Yeah. This is Ajuma Joseph calling from Komiti Nine God bless you. You're live. Difficult combining your career and being a woman as well. But sometimes, if you don't take time. You ignore the home and you f concentrate more on your career. And it disturbs a lot because it's not everybody, everything that you can leave it on the maid or the house help. So I know the men should help. When it's time for you to go and pick up the kids from school, fine. If there's a need to prepare something for the kids to eat, you have to do that. But you have to understand the work that your wife is doing. But it shouldn't be the case that they will concentrate more on the work that they are doing. If it happens like that, then the home will be left aghast. Okay. Thank you. Stacey? No, I don't agree with him. Okay. That is why we call it a balance. Mm -hmm. for, and I give my, hundred, uh, my husband 200% on that. There are times I go to certain events and everybody is asking, where is your husband? Where is your husband? He'll tell you, baby, go. Let me take care of the kids. Because there are times you're just not comfortable to leave the kids at home that late. But he'll tell you, okay, this, Charlie, this one, it doesn't concern both of us. It concerns you more. So you go. Mm -hmm. Let me look after the kids. Sometimes I travel out of Ghana for three weeks. The last time was two months. And he had to take care of the kids. Wow. He changed Spe his Special shouts to <laughs> yeah. Chami Kofi. He, he, he yeah, was on he, last he, week. He, <laughs> he does everything. Go you. So I can't be with a gentleman. I mean, All right. if you... If you 
uh, as much when you marry a woman, mm -hmm. you would want her to be when successful. When you marry a woman, <laughs> yes, when you marry a woman, okay, you you would ha want her to be successful mm -hmm. with everything that concerns her life and her development. So you cannot say, I mean, because of the kids. Okay, don't <laughs> I have kids. another call on the line. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hi. Hi. What's hi. your name? Hello. Yes. Hi. Mary. Jenna. Yes, you're yeah. live. Mm. I thought you guys are discussing it this evening. I thought I was, I was the only person who is going through this because now, look, I'm a career woman. I have four kids. Now, it's not been easy. We can hear your baby in the background. Yes. Yes. That's the last one. Oh. How many do you have? I have four. Wow. wow. <laughs> and what do you do? Now, I'm a personal secretary to an architect. Wow. And it's not easy. Wow. Just that my boss has been very understandable, but it's not easy. I lost my dad, and my mom has to go and take care of a um, few things. And now, Charlie, it's not easy. I thought I was the only person who is going through this. I'm telling you. I always have to sleep around 1 a.m. and wake up the next day and go to work. Wow. Uh, I'm going through a lot. Mary. God on our side, we can do this. Amen. Godspeed. I was just going to say that. Uh, if you've been able to do it this long with four kids... Um, I think uh, she, she's, she's wonderful. We have yeah. to give her big God, 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 God speak to you. And yeah. I mean, it's not easy for what she does. It means she has to get to work before her boss. Yeah. She has mm -hmm. to make sure everything is in order. And uh -huh. before she goes to work, she has to make sure the house is in order. Mm -hmm. So whatever she's doing, we just pray that God gives her the strength to keep doing it and make her a great mother. Amen. Amen. Well done. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Four, I don't know what I'm doing with my <laughs> one. <laughs> I'll take some messages uh, now on zero two four four three four zero four three seven. I I have a call on the line and then I'll, I'll take some messages. Hello. Hello, now. Hi. What's your name? My name is Owusua. Owusua, thank you for calling. Thank you for having me. Okay, so what I want to say is that I think pretty much every woman, mother, wife goes through all of these things that we've mentioned. I have three kids and. I'm an entrepreneur myself, and it's pretty difficult. Sometimes she would break down. Sometimes she was so strong. But in all, if you have a supportive system and a husband that, you know, will support you 100%, it works. It works. But we're built for this. We're built for this, and you want to feel proud of yourself. You want the kids to also grow and see that mommy made something out of her life although, you know, she had all of this um, family chores and all of that going on. So um, we just ask God for more grace, but it's doable, but it's very, very difficult, extremely difficult. Amen for that. Yeah. God give us the, the strength and the grace to carry on. I'll take some messages now. Um, Kwame Jamra has sent a message that's got me smiling. He says, now, nah, I quit my job for three years to take care of my daughter. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Well, big ups to you, Kwame. I wish you'd call. Uh, I'd like to hear from you. Hello, now. I really like the show. I must confess that being a woman is a wonderful thing because what my wife is going through with her baby is not easy at all. <laughs> <laughs> Special thanks to all women. All right. Now, I'm not married. Neither do I have kids. But I know what it's like. I took care of four kids after secondary school. Thumbs up to all mothers and fathers who are doing their best at this job. A little advice. Be closer to your kids so that they do not become delinquent tomorrow. And that's from my Cosby, Anthony. Thank you so much for sending that in. All right, 0244340437 is a number to reach us on, on WhatsApp. I'll be reading your messages as they come. Here are a couple of messages on uh, on Facebook. Uh, it, it's on the Tell It Moms page. I see we have so many messages on the Tell It Moms page. So thank you so much, uh, the group Tell It Moms. God bless you, and thank you for sending in your messages. I'll pick one more call, and then I'll read some messages from social media. Hello? Hi, Nas. Hi, you're live. What's your name? My name is Carol. All right, Carol. I really love your show. I think you guys are doing a great job. Thank you. So I don't think you can have it all as a woman. I mean, you know, having that great mix of the financial wherewithal and the great support system at home to help you 
you know, balance out the work life and having an understanding community at work to also support you. It's just not easy. It's just not easy. I mean, you're entrepreneurs are happy and like lucky to have it, but we all can have it. You know, we can have it all. Real. Okay. Thank you for calling, uh, Carol. I'll take one last call. Hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening to you, too. This is Manasseh calling from Tema. Yes, sir. Thank you so much for calling. Welcome. Yeah, I'm of the view that uh, career, com combining uh, career with uh, raising your kids uh, has something to do with uh, sharing it with your husband. That's a shared responsibility. But sometimes, most of the women abandon those things and focus more on their careers, thereby losing uh, the care they need to give to their children and even their husbands. Then eventually their marriages land the rock, which I think our mothers or our career women should be careful with. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I appreciate the call. <laughs> My ladies. Oh, you want to respond? <laughs> Stacy. <Stay safe. laughs> no. No, no. No, no. Yes, um, yeah. Um, see, I, I, I just, we have, um, when I had a baby mm -hmm. and I was going through the wilderness, I should put it, because th that thing is an experience that nobody, there's no book to read to prepare yourself yeah. for. Mm -hmm. So you dive into it and then you learn as you go. And then whilst I was going through it, I formed um, a WhatsApp group page, a support group of mothers and, and pregnant women, young pregnant women. And we have women, shout outs to Prego and Fit Page. We have women there who have had to quit their jobs for five years to stay home and take care of their kids. We have some who, has, uh, who have had to stay home for three years, some for two years, and stay at home mom. We, you know, we are talking about women, mothers and, and your career, but we have stay at home moms who go through even more because yeah. they were, they had a career. You know, they they, they 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 knew who they were. And then suddenly you have to leave probably that thing that gives you, you know, the vibe of living. You have to sacrifice it to take care of your children. And then it, it, it puts you in a different wilderness. Like your friends, you see your friends climbing up, going up the ladder, and then you are here at home. And then people, you have people see you and ask you, ah, so you, you went to school and then you, you, you are doing what? You are staying home. Like nobody, people don't understand why you have to take that sacrifice that you've taken. So it's, it's a very difficult, it, whichever way, whichever decision as a woman you take when you have children, mm -hmm. you know, you know, why you took that decision. Yeah. Yeah. Whether you even have the finances at that point to be going to work and to be taking care of your children. So you take the decision that will help you, it, whether you have the support system or not. There are some decisions you are like, okay, I need to do this. Otherwise, I might just die doing this. And my kids need me. You know, they need me alive. They need mommy happy. Mm -hmm. So mommy has to yes. do what mommy has to do. Mm -hmm. And so it's a very, very, like the caller, the other caller said, it's very difficult. Whether you're an entrepreneur, whether you, you know, you are in the corporate world, very difficult. But it has joys too. Right. It has many joys. It, has joys. <laughs> it, I, I, it actually has more joys. Yeah, but now I'll tell you that it's not for everybody. What's not for everybody? Like having a career and mm -hmm. taking care. Of, it's not for everybody. Mm -hmm. You need to find what works for you. Yes. Mm -hmm. You need to find what works for That's you. True. And whatever decision you take, it doesn't make you a bad woman. No. It doesn't make you a bad mother. <laughs> it doesn't make you a bad person. Whatever Absolutely. decision you take, it's for you yes. you need to find out don't follow what people are doing because just find what works people. yeah you just need to find what works for you different strokes for different <laughs> folks all right lizzie says nah it's not easy i'm a mother of four i wake up at three i prepare breakfast and lunch by 6 15 i'm out of the house hmm as I'm sending this message, I'm preparing my food for tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why are we laughing? <laughs> oh, we're not laughing at you, I no. promise. No, no, we are in the same boat. Yes. <laughs> we are in the same boat, so don't worry, darling. Wow. Hmm. As you are t typing this message, you're preparing banku for tomorrow. <laughs> wow. Now, this career, this, these career women cry. Where can I find one? <laughs> <laughs> I want to marry, but not any woman at all. And that's from Nana. Nana, I don't understand what you are saying. <laughs> you, you want to know where to find a career woman. 
<laughs> okay. Hmm. It takes planning, planning, planning. I wonder how I made it alone with two kids. Almost wow. three years and four years and uh, for 11 years now. Wow. As a marketer with a big budget every month. Hmm. But God has been faithful. The girl is going to SHS now. Wow. Thanks for this program. Wow. Just recounting what I've been through. I wish I could call. And that's from Na texting us from Ligon. Oh. Well done. <laughs> Applause for Na. Applaud to say to Le Monde. <laughs> Hello now, I have a three year old and an eight month old. I must say I haven't lost myself, but I've rediscovered a me I didn't know. Yeah, yeah. So strong. I slay both at work and at home. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> and no, staying at home would have would have made me a bad mother. I do better in challenging times. I would have been too bored with them. And that's from Ajua texting us from Florida. Yeah. Wow. That, that's, She's that's, lame. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a way to look at it. <laughs> yeah. uh, staying at home could sometimes take away from you, oh, like yeah. Mabna said. Yeah. The, the urge to carry on. Mm -hmm. You know, the vibe that keeps you going. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I promised to read some messages from the Tell It Mom's page, so I'll do that now. Okay. Ella Adam says, Now I left my job to venture into my own business just to have time for my family and myself. I'm listening, pa. Mm, nah, such an interesting topic. Thank you. Hello, Na. It's not been hard for. It's not been easy for me at all. Um, if only our men would understand. Cynthia says my maternity leave was such that I had to resume work when my babies were just a little over three months. It was a really scary time for me having to take them crutch at such to crutch at such a young age. I was always in a state of fear and on the edge. How are they taking care of them? It wasn't a surprise that there were so many trips to the hospital. Mm -hmm. Yes, they were ill so many times, from crying continuously due to some pain uh, and um, they might be going through. And when I picked them from crutch, cold stools had blood in them, mm -hmm. just to mention a few. Indeed, it's been hard. But God saw us through, and I laugh over them nowadays. I remember those days. Why wouldn't I be grateful to God after my last born, my daughter turned 20? just a few weeks ago <laughs> to every young mother out there just know that it's just a face this too shall pass yes. 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 all right yes. hello now i stay with my mother-in-law and she's understanding and she takes care of my children my problem is she wants fresh food all the time and that's a big challenge <laughs> charlie why are you guys laughing <laughs> All right. Now I left work to take care of my children because I had nobody to help me and my husband didn't want a nanny. I really needed this topic. Thank you so much. All right. Pleasure is ours. We'd like to know how you're doing. Uh, are you going to go back to work? All right. Now this topic is totally worth listening to. I am I am in Canada and I'm listening. Thank you so much. Thank you too. Oh my God, now. <laughs> All right. Hello, now. I want to be a full time mom. Now so hmm, money matters. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, now. I had to leave work to take care of my kids because I had no help. I think I already read this one. Thank you for sending that in. Hmm. It's been God since day one, since I became a mom. To worsening it, okay, to worsening it is a mother whose business is based on traveling. Hmm. It's never been easy. I had a nanny, but my husband, my, my husband was very helpful, though it wasn't easy for him. Every time I had to travel, he would ask me so many questions. It's okay. It's all good. Motherhood is a calling. But combining it with work and house chores, you need grace. Yes. The last person who goes to work to bed at night and the first person to wake up. Oh, yeah. But I must say in honor and privilege, it's an honor and privilege to be called a mother. Yes. Dear mothers, please add this to your daily prayer. God, give us the strength to answer our call with good health. And please, as a mother with so many responsibilities, God, don't let me ever be sick. Don't let me oh, ever fall Charlie. ill. <laughs> this is my prayer. Thank you for an answered prayer. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> all right. We have exactly six minutes to wrap up. So I'm going to give you all two minutes each to give us your final word. So for you all. Okay. Please allow me to wish my sister a happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> Chris, Mrs. Christabel Dente and my colleague Justina Ejewa Asafuiji. Today is their birthday. I'd like to wish them a very happy birthday. Happy birthday. happy birthday. I think that to be able to balance your career and taking care of kids, you need a support system. Yep. You need discipline. You need time. Mm 
And the support system is so important because they need to be trustworthy. If they are trustworthy, you can leave your kids mm -hmm. and then focus. Because it's different leaving your kids and then like you're thinking about them all the yeah. time and actually leaving them and knowing that, okay, they are safe. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to worry about them. Mm -hmm. So it's really important to have a good, a good support system. So if you're a husband, please. <laughs> Help your wives. I have a colleague in the office. His wife has traveled to do her master's outside. And he has two kids. And he takes care of the kids alone. He cooks for them. He bats them. He so men, please don't say that. It's for the women. Men can do it. And if you are supporting your wife, you can get what you want in the night before you go to bed. <laughs> Thank you, Ophoyewa. God bless you. Stacy. <laughs> I didn't hear that one. <laughs> well, now, um, what I would say is, as much as we need a support system, mm -hmm. every partner should know what the dreams of their partner is. Okay. Because if you're with someone and you do not know their aspirations and they begin to venture towards those aspirations, you think they are becoming a little bit too much. Mm -hmm. So when you get to understand the person you're with, what they dream to be, when they begin to soar towards the height, you do not get scared. You okay. do not get intimidated. You do not think you're losing them. Because for me, everybody who's known me from a very early age will tell you, this is what she's always wanted to do. Yes. I told my husband, this is what I want to do. Take it or leave it. We, it should be open so that when you're soaring, that person can help you fly. Yeah. It, it's so sad when you're flying and you don't have extra wind blowing under you to make you so higher. Yeah. So I think this discussion should go on. And for those who are single parents, you should be able to get that one person that you can trust with the kids so that you can still be able to achieve all that you want to achieve. Because I'm not sure any child would want to know in the future that my mom could have been great but had to give it up because of us. Yes, they, they will be proud of you, but it wouldn't be the outmost joy. They would want to see that you're a great mother and you're still successful. So let's try to balance it out. Like I said, the balance is very, it's important. very important. And it, it would be great. It would be great. We, we are women. We, we yes, are we built, can. We're built great. We're built special. We can do anything we put our minds to. Amen. Mabna, you yes. have the final word. Yes. And since I have the final word, my prego and fit women are just asking me to <laughs> give them shout outs especially okay. so prego and fit ladies especially pregos shout outs to you okay we love you we receive it so um i would just add to um what stacy said yeah. that um we we still have to live our lives um but in a different way because mm -hmm. once babies come your life changes whether you like it or not it, it changes so we would have to pick ourselves up um and i like what the caller said we rediscover ourselves yeah. and then this the new you we get some new strength you have to dig into that new strength that you have received and carry on we have to for the sake of the children and husbands please this is for you help your wives especially the early months the early mm -hmm. months don't pressure them with weight issues and like uh, those would wake you up <laughs> that the baby is crying yes. <laughs> and they go back to snoring you know please especially the weight is because put like Nas said postpartum depression is another Real. topic yeah, you know on its together. own for you to be able to juggle career and we'll and talk babies, about it next week yeah to be yeah. able to juggle career and babies you, you you have to be sane especially from your home so if the husband is not supportive the husband is jabbing you with subtle um things like oh yo 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 your ties are yeah. big these days so you're not keeping tidy these days so you know please be helpful husbands please be helpful consciously be helpful thank you so much for listening thank you so much mabna of and Stacy, it's been great having you. I couldn't have had a better panel uh, for this topic. Thank you so much. Uh, this, this has been Strong and Sassy live on Joy 99.7 FM. We've been discussing balancing career and, uh, and being uh, a mom. Thank you for your messages and your calls. We appreciate them. That's all time will allow us. We're ending uh, the show today with Alicia Kisa's Superwoman. And it's for you, all you moms out there. My name is Nasha Kaur. Good night.